Hey, what's up guys? It's James Fomba. It's a beautiful day. Just wanted to start off by rubbing the money door. Let's rub the money door. And what that represents is up here. Your money door is right here. The more knowledge you get, the more you know, you're open to receive. So let's rub this money door one more time. And I'm going to share something that I learned today from my virtual mentor, Ty Lopez, that it means so much. And I just wanted to share it with you because I was hyped when I saw it. It made sense to me. And I know if you're the right type of person, it's going to make sense to you. And it's going to start helping you make a world of difference in the things that you do. Okay. So today I was watching a video he did on the types of the two types of thinking as far as PI, which stands for patient impatience and IP, which stands for impatient patient, right? So what happens with a lot of startup entrepreneurs or people looking to get into something, whether it's a home based business or whatever business that they want to get into. And even in a lot of aspects of life, actually, what happens is people have the PI mentality and what that means is when nothing is going on everyone's just patient just you know oh when that right opportunity comes mm, i'm gonna get it just but patient right and then when they finally do get into something and they become impatient immediately so it's like oh you're patient oh you're just waiting mm, cool you're just lounging and then as soon as you do get into something now it's oh, results need to happen right now oh, i need to see something right now you see the impatience of it and so what happens is they can't love the process because now they're being impatient. They feel like it's supposed to happen, right? And then they fail because they're not being patient to the process. And then there's the other people that have the successful thinking, and usually it comes from impatient patients, right? So they're impatient when they're not doing nothing. Like when they're, you, you can't just sit at home and nothing's going on. Like that makes you feel finicky, like, oh my goodness. But then when you do get into something, you become patient. You take the time to actually learn the whole, everything you need to know. You take the time to get into the process. You do a daily routine. You see, that daily routine is what takes you there. A lot of people will have that impatience because when companies are promoted to you, they're promoted in the best light. So they're going to show the top earners, right? They're going to show what the top people are making. Guess what? Those top people still have to do a daily routine. It's so cool. Like I have a lot of six figure and seven figure mentors online that I chat with. Right. And it's cool because I'm not as I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Right. But I'm not at six figures yet or seven figures. Right. But when I chat with these people, they treat me with respect just like them because they understand the process. What I'm doing now and what I'm doing every day is what turns me into the six-figure earner in six months, what turns me into the millionaire in a year, two years, of what I'm doing today, the daily routine, the small wins that turn into a big snowball. But it comes from being impatient about not having anything going on, and then once I do have something going on, becoming patient, all right? So adopt that in whatever you're doing. Stop becoming impatient, okay? Adopt that where now you have something. Now be patient. Plant that seed. Watch it grow. Take care of it every single day, and you will see results, all right? Guys, thank you for watching this video. Click the link below if you want to check out some of my videos on YouTube, and I'll see you on the inside, all right? My name is James Fomba. Be blessed. Peace. Money, daughter.